Hi everybody, really quick video here about active systems, especially this is a bass I'm working on this morning. It's Ernie Ball, Music Man, Stingray bass. And I'm gonna talk about batteries and battery power. Okay, now this is the battery that came out of this bass. Um, it's done only two gigs uh, and it's a Duracell. You would think this was going to be a really good battery. But let's just have a look at, and I've got a proper battery tester on this here, so you should be able to see the numbers coming up. And let me just get these the right way around because it won't work otherwise. Okay, now that's showing 8.67 volts on a 9 volt battery. Okay, now that's done two shows, so it's been plugged in probably for a total of around five hours. Um, Believe it or not, 8.67 volts on one of these testers. That's a knackered battery, that goes in the bin. This is what a battery should read if you put it on a voltmeter with a proper battery tester on it. Now that's 9.66. Now what happens with a, a nine volt battery is they stay pretty, pretty consistently above nine volts until they start to not be able to supply the amount of current that you need. And then suddenly the voltage drops below the nine volts and you've got a battery that's about to go on you. So if you've got a little multimeter like this, test your batteries on a standard multimeter. If you're not sure, it should be well above nine volts. If it's not above nine volts, it's probably about to go and uh, it's probably time to change it.